Okay, it is that time again for another Raid Show Legends video with your boy, Real Deal. And today we are doing the Scarab King Floor 100 on hard. So, this is the team. We've got Stag Knight, Miss Cray Monster, Tour Lord, and Cold Heart. So I'm sure you've all seen a uh, team similar to this one. Um, unfortunately there's not a lot of flexibility as a uh, free to play for what you can do um, for the Scarab. But um, I like this team. I find it's got a decent success rate and the clear time is about 5 minutes. So you can have High Cthulhu instead of Stag Knight. But what I find is... Oh, oh, and she needs to be slower than Miss Crate Monster. But what I find is that her A1, um, you know, it's not like a 100% chance to land, like Stag Knights, and also that her decrease turn meter doesn't always land, so I'd rather just have Stag Knight. Um, he's going to give you a 60% decrease defense, and he's going to be putting that slow on his A1, which as soon as it's on, will stick for the whole fight. Um, then we've got two Allures, who I've locked out all their skills apart from their A1. And of course, they're just doing what Allure does, which is lock that turn meter down and just keep the boss slow. Well, basically, he doesn't get a turn. Keep him slow? No, he doesn't even get a turn. Um, and then you've got Cold Heart doing damage and um, depleting the. Wait, fully depleting that turn meter with her Heart Seeker. Uh, Miscreated Monster, he can be replaced, but he is the best in his class. He's got stuns for the waves, and then he's got, well, basically you just need a champion with um, shields for three turns on a three-turn cooldown. And basically, he's going to be keeping that up for the whole fight. So as soon as your, if shields come off, um, that Scarab is just going to put fear on your whole team and just keep counter-attacking, and you're just going to wipe. So the aim of the game is just to keep his turn meter down, sit back, chill, and enjoy. So, um, for those that are new to the game, when this first came out, um, everyone was having to do like manual it. And I remember my team was two Cold Hearts, Armiga, um, Miscreate Monster, and High Team. And it was hard. I mean, it was really fun. I enjoyed having to like manual some content rather than just sticking it on auto. Um, but then, I think further down the line, um, they buffed the Scarab King, and it made it a lot harder. Um, so, you know, I think before you could just absolutely batter him with the um, with two heart, heart Seekers, and then they put like a cap on it of like 10%. So now you have to sort of sit, sit down and, and watch it, unfortunately. Um, yeah, and obviously not everyone could be manually in 15 times a day and like my runs were something crazy like 15, 20 minute runs. It was painful. Uh, but now we've got these auto teams that, you know, you just do it and just let it run and just go, you know, make yourself a coffee, come back and hopefully it's done. Um, yeah, I think he's a cool looking boss. Like, I really like the way he looks. Um, he looks very similar to if anyone's played Fallout 4. But I don't know what he looks like or what he's called, but he is a, I guess, like a very similar looking boss. They probably ripped it off, to be honest. But um, yeah, that was pretty fun. If anyone's played that Fallout, look out for that guy. Um, yeah, and it is just a case of letting it run. I'm hoping we hit that sort of five minute mark because that's probably I think the fastest time I've got on this. And we're almost there. You can see that his little purple shield is almost fully smashed. Um, and yeah, I'll show you the gear at the end of the video, but uh, Stag Knight's in a shield set. One, I think one Allure is in life still because I used to use that on Fire Knight. The other Allure is in Destroyer set. Cold Heart's in a Destroyer set. Uh, Miscreated Monster is in Immortal, maybe, I think just maybe three sets of Immortal, maybe Perception in there. Um, but the, yeah, 
but you must have destroy set on at least one champion. I would say definitely two. If you, I mean, well, for the higher stages, you're definitely gonna need two. Um, yeah, I mean, my third allure could be in destroy would make these runs faster, but um, yeah, I just I can't. You know, I've got to do in one job. I don't want to be changing a gear to make it specific to this. And the speed order is uh, miscreated monsters fastest, then I think stagnite, then the allures, and then cold heart. You do need to have your um, champions pretty fast for this. Um, yeah, but we'll have a look into that in a minute. And we're almost there. Come on. Almost there. Uppercut, bitch! Yes. Okay. Let's look into their gear. Okay, so let's look at our first champion, Miss Creative Monster. So, yeah, double mall set and perception gear. Crit rate gloves. HP chest. Speed boots. Probably, yep, HP ring. Oh, crit damage necklace and with a resistance banner okay um i think i was using him in um ice golem so that's why he's got that uh resistance on and he's got pretty good accuracy anyway considering he's got quite high stats everywhere else um so total hp 67k defense 1.8 um speed 261 so he is pretty fast um, and then 100% crit rate and then just the other stats that don't really matter for this <coughs> I guess um, having I should have probably a bit more accuracy just for the ways but you know 200 seems to be enough for him to land his stun and do what he needs to do um, when you're trying to get these speeds um, glyphs glyphs are going to help you so much so make sure you glyph that this gear Masteries, just sort of very standard, uh, you know, hug that left side of the tree, and then, you yeah, know, just a bit of healing, and, um, you know, just that is in there for him to get a bit more speed. Well, not like now speed, so more HP off his immortal. Okay, so let's have a look at my first law, who's in lifesteal and perception. Crit rate gloves. HP chest, um, speed boots, HP ring, crit damage necklace, and then accuracy banner. So stats, 39k HP, attack doesn't really matter because it doesn't hit that hard, bit of defense, well, just defense. Um, speed 234, crit rate 110, and then Accuracy. So those are the, like the stats you want are her HP, the speed, the crit rate, and actually that's what you want to be focusing on. So you need about 350 uh, accuracy. And these are the masteries that I've got. Giant Slayer for that triple hit on our A1. Second Allure. Oh, I haven't even finished our mastery. Maybe I should think about doing them just to help uh, speed things a little bit. Um, this one I... Oh, okay. I think neither of them are fully booked then. Um, so, destroy set and perception. I mean, as you can notice, perception gear is just amazing when you get, when you can, just forge it as much as possible. Really useful to have. So, crit rate gloves, or oh, accuracy chest on this one, uh, speed boots. Okay, oh god, like. Attack ring not even rolled up, HP uh, necklace not even rolled up, and then uh, accuracy banner. Stats for this one: 30k HP, 224 speed, um, 110 crit rate, and then accuracy 275. One mastery that's really important is this one. So basically, hopefully, as you're going through the waves, they're getting kills. So when you add that little uh, 18, add 18 speed onto that, that's really going to help with those, um, help her uh, getting those hits in. 
So you miscreate monster, the allures, the stag knight. I think that is just like a very standard masteries. No, he doesn't even have a ring. How funny. I think I think I took that ring off for Dark Fae. Um yeah, now I've not even fully rolled him up. But it's not he's not there for that. Um, you know, he's got a decent amount, well, shield set, perception gear again, probably HP gloves, HP chest, speed boots. And so he's got 60k HP, 236 speed, and then 243 accuracy. And then last but not least, Cold Heart, in a destroy set. Um, she's pretty hard, I found, from memory, I found it pretty hard to gear up. Um, 40k HP. 235 speed. Oh god, really low crit rate. I guess just basically, like, you know, I just want to try it and uh, you know, just it's more about the speed and accuracy more than anything. And then 318. Actually, I probably could upgrade her gear now. I've just never noticed and never realised I needed to uh, because she does the job. But yeah, crit damage, gloves, HP chest, and speed boots. Um, think about it, it's probably more that um, she needs to be fast to get through her um, to get through her abilities and keep up, keep pace with the uh, Scarab boss. So I think that's why I sort of chose to have speed over crit rate. Yeah. So that is the team. Um, I hope you guys found this video useful and you. You know, hopefully you start being able to clear that boss and start getting that gear because Scarab boss gear is really useful. Um, you know, it is an upgrade to immunity gear, and um, the reason it's more useful is say you could build like a go second team, and the reason that the Scarab boss's uh, gear is better is because you're getting that 40, uh, 40 plus resistance. So say you had a team. Um, I mean, there's two ways to do it. You can have a go second team where the whole team is in untouchable, and you'll have that block debuffs for um, two turns. But because you've got that ac um, resistance as well, if you have that high resistance on all your champions, they're going to have all of them are going to have block debuffs for two turns, which is massive. You could do so much work in that time. The other option is um, you could have someone like. What is her name? She is that crazy bird chick from Barbarians. I think it's Shaman. Shaman. But um, yeah, you know, there's some champions I don't use her personally. I know she's really good, and I should use her. Yeah. Oh, Sky Touch Shaman. Yeah. But I just know as like the naked bird lady. Um. But you know, um, any sort of cleanser you could put her in this immunity gear. Uh, sorry, untouchable gear and have more chance of her keeping her block debuffs and not getting stripped yeah so i hope you've enjoyed the video please subscribe if you haven't and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day take care bye